Hi guys, it's Pixels Tech here, and I'm back with another video on um, how to create web apps using Siri shortcuts. Now, some people really like web apps or prefer using the browser for some applications, whereas others would much rather use an app. However, there are some apps that are just absolutely terrible, especially on iPad. Um, and I'm going to show you how to create a web app to get rid of the, quite frankly, embarrassing apps from some of the developers. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our Safari, or any web browser really, and we're going to go to Routine Hub. If no one's been before, just routinehub.co, and I'll paste a link to the shortcut. But we're going to type in Web Clip, and we're going to press Enter, and it's just going to be that top one in the left there. Um, and first off, what I'm going to do is just give a big shout out to Gwyneth. I don't know who Gwyneth is, but thank you for this. We're going to click on Get Shortcut, and that's going to open up into our Shortcuts app. Sometimes it does take two tries, so just give it another click if it doesn't work. And there you can see I've already got one next to it, but we're going to use this one for our example. Now the next thing we need to do is go and get the URL for our web app. I'm going to use Instagram for this example. It's a nice and easy one, Instagram.com. And we're just going to copy and paste that. And we're ready to start our shortcut. So from here, it's very simple. We're just going to press the shortcut. It's already preloaded. And we're going to type in the name of what we want our app to be called. So it's just going to be Instagram. I'm going to press done. And then we're going to type in the URL, or we're going to paste it. And then press done. And then we're going to write in Instagram again. This is just the name of the profile and press done. And we're gonna choose our photo. So this is the icon. I'm gonna press from photos and I'm gonna choose the icon I want. If you wanna learn how to make these icons, I have made a video on it, so feel free to watch that. Select the photo and you can save it to file, which means you can do it multiple times or do it later if you need to, or just install it straight away. It's gonna take you to this web browser and you're just gonna press allow and you're going to press done when the pop-up comes up and press OK if you want to install it now. This will take you to the VPN and device management in settings. And you can see downloaded profile at the top there. It says Instagram web clip. You're going to click on that and press install. Then you're going to type your password in. And you're going to press install again and finally installed again. And that's it. That's done. So let's just quickly check this out. I know this is really important, but I guess it's just good to see what's inside. So you've got the details of it, the web clip, and then it just tells you the URL, the label. It's, it unfortunately can't be changed. If you do want to change that, it's better just to delete and remove the profile with the button down there, and then just start it again. So now we'll go back to the home screen and you can see my Instagram icon is there. And we're gonna place that where we want it on the home screen. And we're going to open the app just like we would with any other application. Now I'm just going to quickly log in. And I have found with some of these that you do get a slight bug. So just close it and reopen it and you can see it's logged in. Now you're going to get this notification screen on some of them. Always, if well it's up to you, but if you want notifications make sure you turn it on. And press allow and that will get you web app notifications and that can only be done on iOS 16.4. But I'm just going to quickly go through and show you that this is... Instagram and you can pretty much do everything you can on the main app on iPhone or um, on the web browser and you can post images search like share whatever you want to do and this is a fully resizable and um, configurable application so as you can see next to the well the old Instagram on iPad is trash ultimately doesn't even load look. so not resizable rubbish just throw it in the bin and then if you want to set your notifications, you can just go down to settings in the little on the left hand side. This will work for all sorts like Twitter and Instagram, whatever you want to use. Go to no push notifications and just choose the ones you want. Now I have trialed Instagram notifications and unfortunately I don't think Instagram supports web app uh, uh, notifications just yet. But I have kept the original app on my iPad just so I get those notifications and then I'll just use the web app. Um, to receive them and there are some apps like Twitter that do allow web app notifications so I'm going to show you how to add these to your iPad or iDevice you're going to go Safari in settings and then you're going to go over to advanced 
You're then going to go to experimental features because this is still an experimental feature in beta. And you're going to go down to where you can see notifications. So I scroll down to N and make sure that that's toggled on. It is toggled off by default. So this won't be on um, if you haven't turned it on yourself. And then that should then allow you to get notifications. And I will experiment with this a bit more. So finally, I'm just going to show you a few apps that I think are really good for this. So first off, definitely YouTube Studio. YouTube Studio has such a poor iPhone and iPad app. It does give you some information, but you can't do any video ed editing or anything like that. Um, so it's quite limited. So I've made one for YouTube Studio. The next is WhatsApp. Now WhatsApp doesn't even have an iPad app and I use WhatsApp every day to talk to my friends and family. So if you do use WhatsApp, it's really good to have a web app for WhatsApp. All the third party ones on the App Store just use web apps anyway. My next tip would be for sports teams. So I have, uh, I'm a QPR fan. It only has an iPhone app. The iPad app is trash. So I'll just use um, the web apps to allow me to sufficiently browse my favorite sports team's web page. And then finally, as I'm a massive geek, I love uh, browsing fandom. Fandom app, again, is absolutely rubbish. There's no iPad app. So I have made a web app for fandom. And that just allows me to geek out to my heart's content. So I hope this video helps. Please let me know what you use um, web apps for, whether it's uh, just general browsing, work, school, or entertainment. And um, please don't forget to like, subscribe, ring my bell, feed my ego, and I'll see you on the next one.